everybody, welcome back to the channel. Shayna here, and today I have for you guys the Mermaid Special from Coloring Heaven. And this artist is um, Anast An Anastasia or Anastasia Ely, I believe is how it's pronounced. That's how I've heard other people pronounce it, but it kind of looks like Ellie. Um, Ely Ellie Koldereva? Koldereva. No idea how to say this artist's name, clearly, but um, I have seen some of her other works. I cannot remember the names of the book, but I know she is out there. Um, but this is all of her mermaids. Well, I mean, maybe not like every single one she's done before, but 40 of them. Um, and they are very, very pretty. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started and we will talk about it as we go. So yeah, uh, let's see, does it say? Anastasia is a Russian artist and author of Mermaid Legends, Serenity Nocturnes, and Mysteria, from which the designs in this issue have been taken, as well as Dragon Tales and When Dragons Dream coloring books. She creates her original fairy and dragon character artworks using ink pens, markers, colored pencils, and watercolors, finding inspiration in Slavic and Celtic mythologies, nature, and the underwater world. That's fun. Then we have the flip through for you guys. So I hope you guys can see these images okay. It is dark out to where I am at right now. Um, so hopefully the lighting's all right. I will zoom you guys in a little bit because these images are a little more intricate. Yeah, so this is more line art and there are more uh, grayscaled images later on. There's a little bit of shading in these. This one is landscape. Let me turn that for you real quick. And koi fish. Very pretty. I mean, you can just assume she's a mermaid, I guess. Got a mermaid with wings. That's new. Oh, she's like a flying fish, maybe. Crab. The flying fish kind of weird me out. There's a few things in this book that weird me out, but... Regardless, they're still gorgeous, like this. What is that? An urchin? A starfish of some sort? Not sure. But still pretty. The girl is very pretty. Another landscape. Lionfish up there. He looks very grumpy. This words me out too with a lobster crawling on her head. But again, she's very pretty. <laughs> It's just the thought of having a lobster on my head freaks me out. Yeah, these images are pretty intricate, at least these ones. And then, like, this is more simplified, but it's very grayscaled. Very pretty. Oh, there's a male mermaid. I don't think when I flipped through this I noticed that before. Um, I have this weird thing with scales that, like... Whenever I see them and they don't look right or like they should be there, I want to like scratch them off. Um, like when uh, fish are like shedding or whatever they do and the scales are kind of loose, I just want to reach in and like scratch it off. I'm a weirdo. Um, and like some of these images give me that vibe. Not so much her tail, but like right there. I'm like, that doesn't, no. <laughs> I want to scratch it off. But like I would never do that because I wouldn't want to hurt the fish or anything, but just the, I think it's like the peeling skin thing. Like I can't see skin peel. It's very hard for me when other people have like sunburn and they're peeling because I want to pick it off. It bothers me that they don't do that. <laughs> yeah, there's another man. I do remember that man because I remember um, thinking I would do this as Ariel and Eric because I'm basic. <laughs> this is so cute. I love this. It's like she's in her little nursery. We'll get to the page and you'll see what I mean when I say about the scales. She is so pretty. So this is a good book, again, to practice skin tone. I feel like, I thought that was it. I thought that was an actual hair, you guys, right there. I don't know if you can see the hair that goes across her eye, but I thought it was an actual hair. Oh my gosh. Look at these fish. Even these fish, like with their bumps on their head, I'm just like, I'm like scratch it off. Another landscape. This one's very pretty. She looks like a dancer. Some jellyfish. 
Oh, goodness, there's more landscape back here, apparently. Water, are these water lilies? I think they are. Very pretty. Sea turtles, I love this. She looks human. Looks like she has legs. Maybe she, well, there's turtle, I don't understand. It's fine. Um, well, I do understand, sorry, it's out of frame. But yeah, it looks like she has legs. But regardless, it's pretty. This is like an Ursula, almost, a uh, octopus woman, octopus mermaid. She's got like lionfish spines. Very cool. Oh my goodness. That's pretty. That I really want to scratch off. That, it, ugh, it bothers me. I'm like, get, mm, get it off. It doesn't belong. This is really cool. I just noticed that it was like a crescent moon. That's very neat. Very pretty. But like on here, it doesn't, like those barnacle things, that doesn't bother me. But on her skin, I was like, ugh. This one, I think is my favorite. Look at the seal, how sweet. Very, very cute, I love it. And I love the gems. I don't know, it gives me blue vibes, like Arctic mermaid queen. This is the one, I think. Oh, I just wanna, oh. Is this the one? I don't know, I think it is. This looks like a wedding dress almost. That's insane, that's so pretty. That one's a little, we're back to the line art. No, this is the one that I first knit, was like, oh, get that off. It was those scales, I think, because they're big and noticeable. <laughs> oh, she's crying. That's sad. No, I don't feel so much like I want to scratch them off. Maybe she wants to be a mermaid. I don't know. I'm sure I'll, if I ever color it, I'll think of a story for her. That's cool. The conch shell. That is very fun. Then I have the mermaid lady. Is she laying down? It can't be that way. No, no way. Maybe she's just hiding in the reef. This one's laying down. That too. Sorry, I keep saying that, but like, it, mm, it's very hard for me to look at. And I feel like there's a name for that. Um, like a phobia. <laughs> this isn't as bad, I don't know why. But the claws are kind of strange to me. That's very pretty. <laughs> Look at this fish. <laughs> I can't be serious about anything, can I, guys? It's so hard and so boring to be serious. Yeah, this one is super pretty. Um, very, very pretty images. And then you have the back page. And I never say this, but these, uh, the front and back cover here are colorful. So you kind of get extra pages because this you could make like a, um, I almost said a montage, but that doesn't make sense. A, um, like you could color scheme it out or do whatever you want, color them separately. It doesn't matter, but you could have a lot of fun with that, I think. And then of course the back is an image that's in the book, but say you messed it up, then you've got a second copy of this one, which is cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it really does help me out and I just love meeting new people. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I am gonna pop off here, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And um, let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd just love to hear from you guys. It doesn't even have to be about the video. I don't really mind whatever you want to say. So, but keep it, I mean, keep it constructive and keep it nice, please. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Stay safe and healthy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.